Hi, I'm Christina, and on this episode of Crafty Girl 101, I'm going to show you how to spruce up a old lampshade into a really nice, cool-looking one, because I'm sure you probably just moved into your room, and you want everything to feel like home. Well, one way to do that is to decorate a lampshade. You don't need any type of special lampshade, just whatever you like. This lampshade I actually found on Trash Day out here on Claremont Avenue. Um, as you can probably see, it's actually like a little bit of uh, bootleg and stuff like that. But whatever, we're going to cover it up and spruce it all up. And we're also going to do it for a very little amount of money. Now, if you don't really have arts and crafts things in your room, that's fine because... I real, actually really don't have that much either, but you just gotta look around and be creative. And the best thing to do is look at some junk that you're trying to give away. Instead of giving it away, see what else you can make with it. Look, I forgot that I had this old rubber stamp and ink pad with me. Mm -hmm. I never really use it, only for stationery or something, but maybe I will for this. I have this old memo pad that I never write on, but it's kind of cool looking. I do have some craft stuff, like a whole bunch of strings that I don't know what to do with. And, you know, I've got some tapes and scissors and glue, and just using those things, I'm going to try to turn this into something really cool. But, you know, if you can be really creative, because I went online and f looked for ways to do really cool lampshades, and there were a lot of cool stuff on there. Like, you can put tissue paper all, all over here. Um, you know, you can use, like, this is actually, like, an old scarf that I used to have. You can take this scarf and, like, put it on here like this, and, like, this would be a really cool lampshade. But I really like this scarf a lot, so I don't want to use it for my lampshade. But you could do that. Um, also, I saw something else, or I actually thought of this. Um, if this is like a colored lampshade, you could take some white out and just like actually on the lampshade, like you can white out and you can do all these really cool stripes and stuff. You know, use ribbons, buttons, beads, whatever you can. But if you're limited like me and you've only got a stamp, this, and strings, you still can do a really good job. Um, so. I'm going to start working on my lampshade. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I think I have an idea. And I'll come and check back with you guys in a little while, and you can see how I'm doing on my lampshade. All right? All right. All right? All right, welcome back. Well, in that little time, what I did is I had this idea. I'm going to use my rubber stamp and actually stamp on the lampshade. And this stamp actually has a quote on it. And it's perfect because all the ink I had is red, and the color theme of my room is red, white, and blue. And so all I did was actually stamp like this, and then I actually stamped directly on the lampshade, this, like that. And I did that all over the lampshade, and it just kind of gave off like this really cool pattern here. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, and some of it's darker and some of it's lighter, but it's just kind of a really nice little pattern that like catches your eye. Alright, so now I think I have another idea. I think I'm going to use my memo pad and maybe stick some like crazy polka dots all over here. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of this. Just kind of stick it on there. This is kind of an interesting look. I think I'm going to go ahead and put some more on here. What do you think? All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and again, I'll check back with you. Go ahead and do this. And Welcome back to Crafty Girl 101. As you can see, I really went all out on my lampshade, and I used these memo that you you know you use to write notes on. I just stuck them and glue them onto here. Now I have this really cool look. Well, I still think that there needs to be one more thing for this lampshade. And I think what I want to do is add some trim. So I think what I'm going to do, and I say think because I'm not practicing when I'm doing this. This is like the first time I've ever done this. Just an idea that I have. So I think I'm just going to, ugh, if I can tear this tape, I'm going to get a piece of tape. This is just regular scotch tape. And then I'm going to lay it down if I can. Ugh. Lay it down. Alright. Well, whatever. And then because I have red, white, and blue, blue color themes in my room, I'm going to have... I got these three colored strings. And I think I'm just...
just want to take some little pieces of string and maybe like leave them on the tape and then tape the tape to this. And it's kind of hard to explain, but here's, I'll kind of show you. So I'm going to take just a little bit of string. This is like an inch. An inch of string. And then, alright, so here. So you can see I've got my inch of string. And then I'm just going to take this and tape, stick it to the tape so it kind of hangs off the tape a little bit. I'm going to put it really close to each other, too. So see, now I'm going to have this. I'm going to have a tape with these little things, these little shreds hanging off it. And I'm going to do this for the entire length of the tape and then wrap it to the bottom of this. So this is going to take me a while, so I'll come back when I'm almost done. These little things. Alright, so my lampshade is slowly coming along. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm doing this fringe because I'm kind of falling in love with it here. Like, look how cool this is. Alright. So I kind of already showed you a little bit, but this is basically what I'm going to show you is what it should look like. So see what I mean by putting all these little tiny strings on here? That's it. That's all it is. And now I'm just going to turn this like this, and I'm going to, so you can see, just kind of put it on the inside here. And you know, these little shreds, they don't all have to be like the same length. If they're a little bit different, that's fine. I've just been eyeballing them until into about like one inch little shreds. And it's kind of taking a little while, but I think it's going to be worth it when it's done. Like look at this, I'm already like almost halfway done. This is really cool looking. Alright, I'm going to work on it a little bit more and I'll get back to you in a little while and we'll see the finish. I'll get back to you in a little while. Da, 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 da. Well, here it is, the finished lampshade. I'm really happy with it. And it was really cheap, and it was easy to do, and I love the little fringe. So see, I actually didn't even think that this would turn out that good. But now that I'm done with it, I'm really happy. I've got this awesome, unique lampshade that no one else in my house is ever going to have. So, you know, just play around. And a lot of people always tell me that they don't think that they're creative or you know stuff like that but you just have to be open to creativity and you just gotta try it and like I didn't really think that this fringe was gonna look that good but now it's like my favorite part of the lamp well that's all for now I hope that this episode of creative girl 101 really inspired you to find your inner artsy side find your inner